Welcome to another UCCS Machine Shop video. Today we'll be going over sandblasting and powder coating. This is our sandblasting setup. There are several components including a dust vacuum, overhead light, and foot controls. The first step is turning the dust vacuum on, followed by closing the main cover and turning the light on. Closing this cover starts the flow of air to the machine. Next, put your hands in the built-in protective gloves and pick up the nozzle and your part. Pressing down on the foot control starts the flow of air and abrasive media. Move the nozzle over your part until the old paint and contaminants are removed. Typically we use a media called Black Beauty, though there are many abrasives available for specialized jobs. Talk to your instructor about different options. As you can see, the finished part has a uniform, cleaned appearance, perfect for painting or powder coating. Which brings us to the second half of this video, powder coating. The powder is sprayed on inside the cabinet and then baked on in the oven for the final finish. First, turn the oven on and set the temperature to the specified value on the container. It does take a while to warm up. Next, remove the powder coating cart from the cabinet. There are actually two separate machines, each with its own pros and cons. Ask your instructor about your particular application. To assemble the cabinet blower system, insert the vacuum hose into the hole in the door, then hang the blower bar between the doors, making sure the slits are pointed up. Unfold the tray. And last, pull the vent out. This system creates a wall of air to minimize overspray outside the cabinet. Hang your part on the rack using wire and attach the grounding wire from the machine. Plug the air hose into the powder gun and the air valve making sure it's open and set to approximately 12 PSI. After plugging the machine in and attaching the powder cup, you're ready to spray. Electrify the system by pressing the foot or hand control, then squeeze the trigger to spray the powder. It's attracted to the grounded part, sticking on contact. Unlike paint, one heavy coat is sufficient to cover the part completely. Using pliers, remove the part and hang it in the oven, being sure not to disturb the powder you just sprayed. Bake for the time specified on the container, then hang on the rack until cooled to room temperature. The finished product is a very durable coating, resistant to abrasions and most chemicals, as well as a nice finished appearance. Thank you for watching.